red one? No, he said the white one runs away. It is our last full day in Hong Kong. This is a little bit of a free day for us. We're going to a nice lunch and then we're going to just go around and do some shopping. I think we're gonna go back up to Victoria Peak so I can pick up those sunglasses. They have 10% off there and they don't have that anywhere else in Hong Kong because Victoria Peak is more of a touristy area. I think it's going to be a pretty easy day. We are going to hike up to Victoria Peak though, so that's going to be tiring, but uh, we've been eating a lot, so don't mind the extra little bit of exercise. For lunch today, we're going to Lung King Heen, I think it's called, and it's at the Four Seasons. It's another Michelin three star, but we're going for lunch because the dinner is super expensive. So instead of having a nice dinner at the end of our trip, we're having a nice lunch. We always usually do like a nicer dinner when uh, it's our last day, just to treat ourselves a little bit. We also have to wake up early to catch our flight tomorrow, so we didn't want to stay out too, too late. So this is perfect. We can have our nice relaxing lunch, do a bit of shopping. We want to go back to that beef brisket place for dinner because there was, um, where are we going? We were out of Hall Fun last time, or that flat rice noodle. So we want to get that. And uh, yeah, we're trying to, find the way to the entrance. Here is the Four Seasons Hotel, and my hubby just commented that it looks a little bit like our new city hall, and it really does. And they're flying a Canada flag, which is really nice. So this Four Seasons is very swanky. Four Seasons is usually quite nice, but this one's very high-end, it seems. So the restaurant is right behind us here, but as per usual, we're a little bit early. We're about 10 minutes early. So this restaurant is beautiful. We got a really nice table with a harbor view. Nice giant windows. And we ordered a bunch of dim sum and also a couple of desserts. the first piece of dim sum we ordered. This is the lobster dumpling. I can't remember what else is in it, but it's presented in such a cute way. It's a single portion and we each have like a little basket with the dumpling in it and there is gold leaf on the dumpling. These are the baked abalone puffs with chicken, I believe and you do get a whole abalone. Before this trip, I actually had never eaten abalone because I was a little bit afraid of it, but um, we had it at the eight and it was so good that we ended up ordering this too. This one here is the roast goose with cucumber roll. So this here is one of my favorite dim sum. They're called Sulong Bao. This is the last of our dim sum dishes. This is the barbecue pork buns. For dessert, we ordered this mango cream type dish. It's basically, I think like a mango pudding, but maybe not as firm. Also ordered this jelly, and I can't remember off the top of my head what's inside. And then complimentary are these little cookies and jellies. So we are doing it again. We are climbing up to Victoria Peak, well actually to the Galleria area where I'm going to buy my sunglasses. It's a beautiful day today. It's not as cool as the last time, but um, it's clear skies at least. So hopefully we'll have a little bit more of a view. We didn't go onto the Sky Terrace because we did that last time and the view there is beautiful, but we have photos and stuff from the last time we were there. We're really just heading up for a little bit of exercise and so I can buy my sunglasses. But I wanted to tell you guys about lunch. The dim sum was really nice, but I feel like the eight had a little bit more of a special type of dim sum. So more worthy, I think, of the Michelin three star rating. But the service at the Four Seasons was excellent. My boss had given all of his employees a book on um, the founder of the Four Seasons and a little bit about the service there. And one thing that they try to do is to always address their clientele by their names. So we found that to be the case at the restaurant. They always addressed us by name. They were so polite. The service was really prompt. They always made sure we had um, our teacups filled with tea and it was just Really, really nice. We're nearly at the top, and this is the view. 
there are people up on the observation deck. It's a really nice day today. Here's a little zoomed in view. It's the last day and I finally found postcards. I found them at the Peak Market. Bought these sunglasses and I'm really, really happy with them. The guys at the Sunglass Hut were so nice. They actually remembered us from last time. And um, they were trying to convince me to buy other ones though because I think maybe the Miu Miu ones are overpriced for what they are. They were trying to get me to buy like the polarized ones and they showed me these Dolce & Gabbana ones that they said were really good in terms of like the deal because they're half the price of what Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses usually cost but I was like oh I don't really like the style as much so I ended up with the Miu Miu ones anyway because those were my first choice but I also as you guys may be able to tell I bought this scarf and it was a great deal I bought it from Giordano which is like a I guess it's like a Gap or an H&M but um, an Asian brand and now we're gonna go to McDonald's because we are looking for the sweet potato and vanilla swirl soft serve. We saw it in Kowloon near the Lulu lookalike and we haven't been able to find it at the McDonald's near our hotel. So we're gonna try this one before we head back down. Yay, they have it. Here is what the ice cream cone looks like. We got just the sweet potato, not the twist. And check out this view on the McDonald's patio. It is amazing. We had to get some egg tarts as well from this place here. Here is what it looks like. It looks really yummy. And then downstairs, we're gonna take a photo with a giant tan tat or egg tart right here. It looks so good. noodles were in line. They didn't have the whole fun again, so instead I got this thin noodle and then my hubby got the ifu noodles again, but he got it with curry. We are at this poke shop. This is called Pololi, and we got a couple of different poke varieties. Poke is basically a style of marinated fish from Hawaii. My hubby is currently in Nada Burger. He is getting a couple of Korean rice burgers. He chose the honey chicken rice burger and I chose the bulgogi rice burger. Here is the poke we got. This is 50 grams of the traditional spicy. It's basically soy sauce and chili flakes. And my hubby got the wasabi mayo and I can't remember what else is in there but I do see some cucumber slices. We also got these two drinks. The mango beer my husband chose but it's actually beer He's not a big fan of beer, but I had some and it was pretty good. It's very mild. It tastes not very strong at all. It's kind of watery actually. And then we also got the Just Mate Sparkling Tea. We haven't tried that yet. Not sure if this is sweetened, but it looks like this is from Japan perhaps. Here is our order from Not A Burger. Burger style sandwich, but instead of bread, it uses um, rice patties and my husband said you're supposed to squish these down before you eat them so here is the paper it's wrapped in so adorable with this little character so here's what it looks like the rice has some seaweed or some nori in it and then you can see the bulgogi beef and some onions it smells really nice my hubby got the honey chicken and it looks really really good as well we're back at honeymoon but the one near our hotel i'm getting the same thing that i got yesterday it's basically taro and sago and it's baked and it's hot and delicious and my hubby decided to get the double durian so it's basically two scoops of durian and it smells quite strong <laughs> but he's happy
at the airport. We already have our boarding passes, so we're gonna head right in. I don't know if um, I'm gonna include the clip of me talking to you guys on the train, because I had to whisper, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me. But basically, I was saying that we use the in-town check-in at Hong Kong Station, which is also connected to the IFC Mall. It was really close to our hotel, so it was super duper convenient. We were able to drop off our checked bags there, get our boarding passes, and then we took the airport express to the airport. And we're here now. So we're gonna look for our gates, go through security, and then maybe grab a small bite to eat. We are at one of the outlets for Tasty Congee and Noodle One Ton Shop. This was the place we ate at twice when we were at Newtown Plaza, and they actually sell a whole roasted goose. And I guess it comes in this box. For our last meal in Hong Kong, we decided to have 110 noodle soup and we changed it to the flat rice noodles that I've been craving in soup. We also got this um, oolong tea. So we are at our gate now. Our flight is delayed a little bit, but I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I always forget to do an outro when I do my travel vlog. I will see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. Bye.